So I'm going to give you the one that's probably your favorite, probably your most anticipated of the night. All right. Peacock. Oh, no, it wasn't Peacock. But now I'm going to leave the anticipation for what it really was. And we're going to talk about Peacock. What is what is your thoughts on Peacock, the amazing streaming service, Peacock? Uh, all I know about it is that uh, it's by NBC, and that's where NBC is going to uh, put their content, which to their favor is a lot of like the classic sitcoms from the 2000s that people really love, The Office and Parks and Rec. A lot of show, those two shows, particularly, I know s- several people like fly to Netflix just to stream those two shows. So, like, right. they do have that going for them. Why? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, very, very curious why they picked that name. Uh, it's because of the NBC logo. logo. It looks like a peacock. Still, whatever. Okay, so here's some. Uh, I'm seeing they have, like, really good movies, Jurassic Park, Schindler's List. They have Friday Night Lights as a TV show, SVU. Um, Like you said, The Office, Parks and Rec. Uh, They have Late Night with Seth Meyers is going to be on there. They're going to have the Olympics to be able to stream there. Saturday Night Live is going to be on there, which brings the question, are they going to pull a lot of that stuff off Hulu? I don't I don't know, because a lot of this stuff that we're talking about is already on Hulu. Yeah, um, I get. Yeah, I, I would think they're pulling it off Hulu. So, uh, yeah, I see also House, Frasier, Parks and Rec, 30 Rock. Yeah, um, like all these like classic shows that people right. love to binge. And and I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot on it, actually. I don't know what their price point is. Do you know what that is going to be yet? Uh, I don't know. Let's see if I can figure that out here. Because I don't know. What are you guys on there? You guys, uh, anyone else? Anyone going to get Peacock? Anyone already like decided they're going to get that when it comes out? Because, I, I mean, it could. Jeez, I don't know. If they could, if they. I'm going to say if they are pulling the content from Hulu, if they're going to pull the content from Hulu and other places, uh, when they do this, then I'm going to say that they are going to do well. I'm actually going to say Peacock going to do pretty yeah. well if they pull their content from uh, from Hulu and other streaming services. If they're not, I don't – not even not even worth a second yeah. thought. Like it's, they're not going to survive. So I'm going to say a two if they aren't pulling the content. If they're pulling most of their content off of other platforms, then I'm going to give it a seven. But so I'm just going to average it out. I'm going to put it like a I'll put it at a five. five. I'll put it at a five for now. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds about right. The other problem is, though, a lot of those people that watch those shows right now, like like the vast majority are just still watching live television and haven't really moved to streaming services anyway yet. Yeah. So actually, I'm gonna knock it to a four because I don't. I think honestly, I think there's a lot of people that aren't even gonna, uh, that don't even watch streaming, like wouldn't even use streaming services anyway yet. Because uh, I think they have an older audience. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, so I think they're gonna have a lot of uh, barriers for those people. Like there's a technological barrier there. Right. So I don't know. I think uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit at a four for Peacock. All right. All right. I'll, I'll leave it. 